Today, I'm going to share with you a verse in the Bible that I have routinely messed up in my life. As a matter of fact, I would say it's been the hardest verse for me to actually follow and the easiest one for me to fail. What is the verse? What does it mean? And what do I do next? Hey everybody, welcome back to Coach's Archives. One of the things that I've done recently is I have asked our community here, as this channel is a very young channel, I have asked for video ideas and things to do. And as most of you are aware, I am a Christian. I consider this to be a Christian channel where we're going to cover all kinds of various topics, whether it be entertainment news, political news, whatever, but we do it through the lens of Christianity and cultural analysis. And one of the things that was suggested was to talk about different verses in the Bible that have the most meaning for me. And that suggestion came at the perfect time because this morning I had to lead a men's prayer group and there was a particular verse on my mind that I wanted to share, one that has a lot of meaning for me. So here's the verse. From Psalms chapter 19, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. This verse cuts me to the core because I am so guilty of acting in a way and talking in a way, especially the words that come out of my mouth, in a way that does not honor Christ. I am tempted so many times throughout each week to pull a friend aside and whisper some dirty joke in his ear just to get a laugh and just to be outrageous. And the thing is, I'm commanded right here not to do things like that. Let the words of my mouth be pleasing to you, Lord. And here's the problem with that. It goes much deeper than just the words in your mouth. Matthew chapter 12 tells us that the words that we use actually come from the heart. So it's not a word usage problem. It is a heart problem. When looking at this verse in Psalms chapter 19, we have to realize that so many of the Psalms of David rejoice our hearts as he pours forth the harmony of poetic praise to God for his merciful forgiveness and extraordinary favor. Perhaps more than any other worship song from Israel's great psalmist, Psalm 19 reminds us of the never-ending wonders of God's mighty works and ways. So many of the sacred words that have been penned by Israel's shepherd king are prayers that have been rehearsed on the lips of many saints over centuries of time, who have found comfort and grace in his pleadings to the Lord. For the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. And the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. But this verse, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. We know that a heart that meditates on the glory of the Lord and lifts up the person of the Lord Jesus is the one that exhibits an inner grace and beauty. For a person like this is truly being transformed into the likeness of Christ. For out of the mouth come thoughts that are conceived in the heart. David not only understood the need for an inner cleansing and purity on a day-by-day -day basis, where God himself governs and sanctifies the thoughts of the heart and the words of the mouth, but he had come to an understanding that the Lord Jesus, the coming Messiah, was the strength of his life and the only kinsman redeemer for his soul. May we, like David in humility of heart, sanctify the words of our mouth, the meditation of our heart, the thoughts of our minds, and the motives of our inner being, so that all we say and all we do will be pleasing and acceptable in the sight of our precious Lord and Savior. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I fail and need prayers for you folks as well. I want to have a heart for Jesus. I want to have a heart for Jesus first. I want to live my life in such a way that is pleasing and acceptable to Him. And here's what I know. I'm not there. It's a journey. It has to improve day by day over time. I have to turn away from my own selfish desires and impure thoughts. But saying that, I also want to make sure we know this. I'm not going to be perfect, and I'm definitely going to slip again. However, I want to endure and be able to last over a long period of time, living in a way that is pleasing to my Lord. What are some of your favorite verses, and what do you think about Psalm chapter 19, verse 14? I pray that the good Lord rains down blessings on you and yours, but most importantly, draws you nearer to Him. All that in Jesus' name. See you on the next one.